So you know those movies that you see on the shelf or you see a big poster of and you think, oh, that looks okay. Might be worth my time. Probably not, but it's only £4, so I'll buy it. I thought this movie was going to be one of them. Let's talk about Death Pursuit. Or in some places it's called Bulletproof. But it's got Vinnie Jones in it and we love Vinnie Jones. Let's talk about Death Pursuit. Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Haldeman and this is Nerdly Out Loud, the official channel of nerdly.co.uk, your favourite rich home for all of your news, reviews and exclusive interviews. We like to cover everything from the big budget to the low budget to the no budget with a special keen interest on the lower end of the scale and tonight we are talking about death pursuit or bulletproof as imdb will have you believe um i'll probably be calling it death pursuit because i believe that's what it's being called in the uk or it might be called bulletproof look for both look for both you couldn't go wrong i have not seen a james clayton movie director james clayton i've not seen anything else he's done so far i went through and i checked his imdb to see what else i've not seen anything but it does have vinnie jones in there so i don't know it kind of piqued my interest and it does have one of those boxes that i've seen so many times like i worked in a video shop and i love buying dvds blu-rays steel books all that kind of thing so I'm used to certain covers, you know, the, the, a cover that just has the title, it has the star, but it also has like a very generic sort of background that makes you think, oh, that has the potential to be absolutely guff. But then you watch it and it was a nice little gem. Sometimes it's guff, but it's a nice little gem. That was this poster, that was this box. And I thought, I'm going to watch it anyway, because that's what I do. But before I do all of that, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe and ding that notification bell. The notification bell will let you know whenever I drop an episode, whether it be a review, an interview or anything else that we have coming out on the channel. There's lots of stuff coming and it all really does help on the YouTubes, let people know who we are, where we are and how they can see us. But you know what? Let's just get into the review. So Death Pursuit is the story of pretty much a hapless thief who at the start of the movie goes to a secret gang hideout steals a load of money, ends up getting in a car crash, has to take the other guy's car, drives away. And then he finds out that he has a stowaway in the boot of the car, which just so happens to be the wife of gangster Temple. Temple is a bit of a ruthless man and he's not going to be happy about this. But Mia is now with the thief. She kind of in a roundabout way manages to talk him into helping her get to where she needs to be and get away from Temple. Because she is pregnant and she doesn't want to have the baby with him. She wants to get away. He kind of reluctantly goes along with it. First of all he drives off and then he comes back to get her. So reluctantly they go on a little bit of a road trip but sooner or later the bad guys are going to catch up and then you have like temple coming after them temple's goons are coming after them they bring out a um, a french assassin to come and find them so it's basically that story it's get away from the bad guy because the bad guy's coming to get you it's one of these whatever could go wrong probably will go wrong but we are really going to root for these two all the way or you might just root for Temple because he's a badass and we love badasses. So let's talk about the cast and crew. And I'm going to start with resident shit heel Vinnie Jones as Temple. Vinnie Jones is doing what Vinnie Jones does in this movie. That's just what we get from Vinnie Jones now. You bring him onto a movie for a certain thing and that is the hard ass gravitas that he brings with him. There are a few scenes though where we do get to see a soft side, sort of a sort of a caramel inside to that hard exterior and i'm not gonna lie i quite liked it i quite liked the way he was playing this role he looked like he was having fun he looked like he was delivering lines the way he likes to recently we saw the the vengeance sequel from ross boy ask and that did in fact have vinnie jones vinnie jones was great in that having a really good time we won't talk about the jason muse movie that he was in because i like to try and forget about that one but um i really feel like vinnie jones is in sort of like a a twilight period of his career where everything just sort of fits every role he plays just kind of works and he's having fun doing it like he did the, the hard graft 
now he's reaping some rewards by choosing roles that he likes to play and i feel like this was one of them lena lecompte i'm not entirely sure what else she's done i've not really seen her in anything but i really dug her in this movie i bought the character she's great she kind of like i did believe that she could talk this guy around into doing what she wants james clayton is pulling double duty by playing the lead role of the thief and director and yes as a director let me just deal with the direction first i loved this movie we will get to my rating at the end but it's going to be pretty positive because i thought this movie was brilliant i went into it with fairly low expectations i will be honest it's always good when a new director that you didn't know or you've just discovered or you're just finding has a look and a feel that he knows and he's got an eye for it i think james clayton's pretty much nailed that because this movie hits every beat that it's supposed to hit hits every note that we expect it to hit the action's brilliant the gunplay's brilliant the acting, for the most part, is brilliant. Cinematography obviously helps, and the movie does look like a million bucks. Like, it clearly had a budget, and they've used that budget, and they've probably stretched it, but they've made a great-looking movie with it. I do apologise, because I will ruin this name. I'm just going to butcher it. Janvier Katabarwa. If I got anywhere close, please tell me. Hit me up on Twitter, hit me in the YouTube comments, just please do, because I always worry about those things. But yeah, he is fantastic. The coolest mofo in a movie for a long while. Like, think, you know how I love Knuckle Dust, James Kermack's Knuckle Dust, I'm a big fan of that movie. Think Sebastian Foucault in that movie. That level's of cool. Didn't get a massive great deal of him, but I love his introduction in the tunnel, the gunplay, that worked for me. From that second on, out, I was hooked on this guy. I was like, this this guy's just going to be awesome. Like, I just want to see him kill everyone. I want to see some assassiny goodness. I've left one character to last to talk about because I think Skinny is probably my favorite character in the movie and i think he's kind of meant to be he is played by danny mack who also was a writer on the movie along with james clayton and cooper bybod and i will honestly say that danny mack stole this movie for me i was getting like theo rossi and sons of anarchy vibes not just because of the tattoos and whatnot on the face but they were the vibes i was getting you know how juice was sort of always that understated character that you just wanted to know more about and get into his life and then when you did it was just quite harrowing and, and you you no longer wanted to be part of it like i'm not saying skinny is that character but skinny as a character is so compelling you want to know more about him is he really just this cold-hearted some bitch or does he have this core to him that we're not really going to get to see right now but absolutely seen stealing and the way he turns around no spoilers but the way he turns around and draws a gun i could watch that scene all day every day and twice on sundays so what i didn't didn't like i there's not really much point getting into this section because i've pretty much said everything i did like i thought the direction was great i didn't really say much about the character of the thief but i think james clayton played it brilliantly yes he has some cheesy quippy one-liners everyone kind of has cheesy quippy one-liners in these movies in in this movie but to be fair it's a trope and they work for a reason they work because they're delivered well and they work direction wise i think it's very strong i think the uh the cinematography on point the sound the music it, it does work it all works for me there wasn't anything out of place really i think if i had to come up with a negative and and it is a little bit of a negative but this film isn't all that long but it did feel like there was a good five to ten minute period of the movie that i kind of felt we didn't really need it's sort of like world building and character building so in a way you do need it but i just kind of thought this kind of movie i didn't necessarily need this section here because you know what by the end of it i'm probably going to want a sequel i probably want another two or three of these so just give us that bit and then and then we'll we'll be fine there are some things that just seem to happen because they needed to happen you sort of sat there wondering how the hell did that character get there before them or how did that all come to be it's just sometimes a tad convenient if you know what i mean so I'm just going to drop my final rating, which again is just my rating. It's not the rating of Nerdly as a whole, but it does count for like 50 to 80% of the website. 
And I'm going for a 4 out of 5 on this. And it is a very, very strong 4 out of 5. Almost a 4.5. But no, we're going to stick with a 4. And mostly for the, the conveniences that were there. That little bit in the middle that I just kind of thought didn't really need this you're slowing things down a little bit too much let's just keep this pace moving but what i will say is performances wise everyone's knocking out of the park here especially danny mac i'll say that again uh all guns blazing i just think death pursuit or bulletproof whatever it is when it comes out check it out i think you're gonna really enjoy it get a kick out of it if you like your fast and the furious movies it's not quite like that bonkers or anything like that but if you like those movies you're gonna like this one it's just a lower key version of that but done with some great acting great characters and just wonderful actiony goodness so this is getting on a bit i am gonna leave four out of five for this movie i really can't wait for people to see it and james clayton if you ever would be so bold to come on the podcast and speak to me jump on this channel i would love to do that because i feel like i found a bit of a diamond in the rough here and i can't wait to check out more of your work my name has been kevin halden this has been nerdly out loud the official channel of nerdly.co.uk we like to cover everything from the big budget to the low budget to the no budget i'm out like subscribe comment below if you've seen the movie let me know see you later